what up, though? My afro. Uh, my hair is looking crazy. All right. I was having a conversation with uh, somebody on Instagram because I was talking about the black uh, community and how the women's movement, the black women's movement, because there's the women's movement does not include all women. Uh, I tried to explain this before. But anyway, so I was talking about the women's movement and how it has, and what has it done for the black community? You know, when marriage, the marriage rate is pretty much non-existent and, you know, the, uh, you know, having children is, is slowing down and not for the right reasons. I explained this anyway. Let me throw some music in there, in here. But, you know, somebody you know, a woman started talking back and her answers were just like, oh! <laughs> Nipsey! Ah! Uh. Yeah, he turned it down. <laughs> Once again, peace out to Nipsey. Uh... And Lauren London, and you know all those people who are involved in all this craziness going on. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about that because it's being oversaturated. I'm going to focus on this women's empowerment. So, ladies, tell me, it's black women, tell me what women's empowerment has done for you, and what good has it done the black community? You know, this is what I want to know. And this is this is a not a statement; it's a question. Because the one, you know, the woman was answering, talking about, you know, because I, I was saying that a lot of women don't want to be domesticated. And she went on to say, only animals can be domesticated. But nonetheless, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, women don't want to cook clean and all the other stuff that goes along with domestication. And she brought up the fact that everybody has to pitch in when it comes to cooking and cleaning. Well, if they're not doing it, then everybody's not pitching in. I didn't say guys don't do it. I said that women don't want to do it. I didn't say that's your sole responsibility. I said you just don't want to do it. And I said, you know, if, if women don't want to uh, play a role, and listen, when I, when I talk about domestication, your guys are domesticated too. Okay? I'm talking about in the act of marriage. For the purpose of marriage, for the purpose of growing families, uh, instead of having single mother and fathers and baby daddy, baby mama, and all that, I'm talking about stopping all that. What has a woman's empowerment, empowerment movement done for the black community as a whole? And she just went on to speak all the, the, the say all these arbitrary things about just how you know women choose to go a different way and. It's not for every woman to choose the same path. Once again, not answering the question, what has it done? Not for the women who are not interested in it. What has it done to improve the black community? And the answer is zilch. Hasn't done anything. And then she brought up, she says, because I, I went on to say, women's empowerment basically illustrates a hatred for being domesticated and, you know, towards men. Uh, if you ask me, I mean, you have a lot of these actors and singers and all these people who are in on Nicki Minaj and all these other people who are in on this movement of men are second class citizens. And I'm just like, what has it done for us? Because our numbers are dwindling. The marriages are dwindling. Uh, cheating is a thing to do. You know, Chris Brown, cheat on your man. That's how you get ahead. You know, <laughs> please tell me, what has it done? It hasn't done anything. Not one doggone good thing. It may have done something for women. Now you got you girls can run around with your bodies all just whatever, willy-nilly, but it doesn't mean a man is going to look at you as marriage material. You should respect me because my breasts are all out in front of everybody for everybody to see. No, I don't respect you. <laughs> Not one dog on bit. You are looked at in, with with one purpose to me when you do that, and it's not marriage. That's the whole point. What is happening 
to the marriage in our community? What is happening to the oneness, the togetherness of the the one the the movement under a single household? Now it's okay to turn up and turn out and have your body everywhere, and we're we're supposed to respect that. Like, oh, you're the lily of the valley because you've been with. 30 people before the age of, you know, 18, and we're, get up, I respect that, and then she brought up, well, Serena Williams uh, doesn't hate men, she, she's all about women's empowerment, Serena Williams is not even close to being in the conversation, simply because she's married to a white man, and that's done, that's just done to me, that's done, okay, and that's it. I'm talking about how it involves the black community. You're married to a white man. That's done. Okay, then she brought up Beyonce and how Beyonce is all about women's empowerment. Beyonce made a hit song called All the Single Ladies and had all you goofy women talking about, oh, it's cool to be single. That's done. No, she was married when she made the song. No, what, what hit song has she made talking about being married that has married in it? Please, I don't know. I haven't heard one. Maybe there's one out there. But I don't know of any hit song that Beyonce has pushed and, 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 and talking about being married. She talked about being cheated on. Oh, she, she made sure everybody knew about that. Like, it was a big secret. You're married to a drug dealer. Uh, <laughs> who turned whatever, and you think he wasn't going to cheat on you? Come on now. That's done. Beyonce done. All the single ladies, and you're married. Uh, get out of here. That's done. She turn up in the club, and you're married. All this run around half naked, and you're married. I'm done with that, too. Who else did she bring up? <laughs> uh, Serena Williams, uh, 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 Beyonce, and Michelle Obama. Listen, I love me some Michelle Obama. I, you know, I, I, I love the Obamas. I wish they could be in the, the wild. Look, Michelle for president all day. But let's 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 consider the facts. For one, the Obamas pushed the gay movement. They pushed that all over the world. They went to Africa and got rejected. The African was just like, no, we ain't doing that. They push gay rights like I've never seen it pushed before. Now we all know that they were a part of the machine. But nonetheless, I've never seen any president push for gay rights like that. And I am in it. It just, I just don't understand why did they choose to actually go to Africa to countries that are, like, that are totally against the whole feminization of men. Why did they make that trip and petition in front of another president who openly rejected them? Mm. Nah. Nah. Once again, what woman's empowerment movement did Michelle do that involved the black community? She danced a lot. She wrote a book. Heck, she probably did a lot of things I don't even know about. But for the things that I do know about, I can't think of one thing that she did for the black community, for marriage, for the oneness under God, under God, and push that out there for men and women to be together and have children together and, and operate as one unit, as a family. I don't know that one thing. Maybe you guys know, but I don't. So that's completely out. Please just answer my question. What what woman empowerment movement helped the black community? It's your boy Tone 202. And yes, once again, this is my music. It's also for sale.